Hey there, my fellow gamers. How's it going? I'm in the Stonecutter Settlement. I'm getting ready to start the DLC Blood and Wine. I'm one level below it. I'm supposed to be level 80. I'm in New Game Plus. But the key here in this video, I'm going to show you how to compare the two Aaron dates. After I show you how to get it very easily. Because in New Game Plus, you get two sets of every gear. You get to play the game over literally at a higher level. And get better gear. We only to follow the tracks of its slayer. Well, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to compare my second Aaron Dyke and I'm getting a new game plus with the one I got in the regular DLC with the base game. So we're going to see the differences in these two swords and what they can do. Surroundings. And we pledge to place the village under our protection. The village elder gave us this So naturally you got to go through, through formality. I'm not going to bore anybody with extensive clips of this. I'm going to do a lot of editing. But I want to get to the point and see what the comparison of two erudites is. Alright, so let's go on to the next clip. Okay, we're now in Blood and Wine. We're in Tucson. Here's the place where you're going to get your best armor. In New Game Plus, you'll get your Grandmaster Legendary Armor. The armor I'm wearing here, I got in a DLC with the base game, the first place, Bruce. And that's Grandmaster Woman Armor right there that I've got on. And I have my original Aaron that I got it around level 30. I leveled that thing up, buffed it up with me the last 50 levels. I'm level 79 or 80. I'll be 80 real quick as soon as I get a few things done here. But I started at 79. So that's 49, 48, 49 levels that Aaron Dyke sword is buffed up. But I'm going to get my second Aaron Dyke and I'm going to compare the two against each other. And obviously the stronger one is the one I want to use. I'll keep the other one as backup. Now again, this is a silver sword only. Aaron Dice used to kill monsters. Aaron and a wraith. You kill him with spectral oil. And that left the vampire. So these are my boss. That's my boss sword for the bosses. Alright, now let's get this giant out of the way and move on with it. Now, before you go start your virtue quest for the Erendite, you have to go through with the story a little bit. You have to investigate here with the knights and fend off these bloaters, these poisonous Unmailed bloaters. Boots. No big Multiple deal. Sets of prints. But very quickly and very soon, I'm going to show you, you're going to start so your went. first virtue, and you're going to get the first one done right away. Now, after you kill the brooks at Corvo Bianco, you have to go to the turning ground. Here's where you're going to do your first virtue. To spare the shale. Uh, yeah, virtue always wins. But the Black Knight, he's a villain and he wins. The Cutter of Casteldaccia, too. Moral victory, that's what counts. Rubbish. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. So here's your first step. You let the shale of Marla chose the virtue of compassion. Not sure exactly. It doesn't really matter because we're going to get this Aaron deck quickly. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! Monsters no threat. So he lives. Alright, that's one of the virtues done immediately. It is his right. Because I'm gonna show you now, you're gonna go into the next food very quickly too. Alright, so let's go. So now you're gonna go with Anna Henrietta to her festival at the palace grounds, and you're gonna find the second thing that's gonna be your second virtue. Come. You're gonna see that here in a second. And yes, the Shalimar lives. Okay, so after a tussle with Detlap, I'm meeting Regis that saves the day. You want to go outside, go left, go down to the stairs, the outside stairs. There it is right there. Well, I'm not going to take the first left, I'm going to take the second left. Right there you could go there. But I'm not bothering. I want to go in a little deeper. This is going to be your third virtue. Right there, that road, I'm going to go past it. This will be your third virtue. It'll be your third 
qualification to get the Iron Dice Sword. It's going to be tipping the kid. Whatever you do, whatever you say to him, tip him. It shows generosity. Better. Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just No, those of you who do not have the mutations did not get it. The first DLC playthrough with the base game, get it. Pursue this quest. It's Professor Morales' laboratory. Here. There's those Thanks. mutations. I have no, the bloodbath Thank mutation you. with my erudite sword. It quadruples the damage. Again. All kinds of mutations you can play with. So if you didn't get it the first playthrough, get it this time. It's New Game Plus. I everything's up there in levels. affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to All probe right, a certain the next clip. in spite of this. Okay, that's three virtues down. Now for the fourth virtue, we're going to go to the center of Beauclair. Right in there on the market. There's a notice board there, and that notice board has a bunch of quests on it. You want that notice board. I didn't really care too much about the Cockatrice Inn notice board. I grab it because it's the first one there. But this is an important notice board. It has a lot of quests on it that will enable you to get these virtues. But like I'm showing you, we're getting them right away. And then you can do the quest later and not even worry about it. I want that Erendoit as soon as possible. Normally I wait till level... 199 to get it and play as an apex butcher, but this time I'm getting it right away. As you see, I'm trying to find it. There it is, right there. Still wandering around, but I just saw it. I'll swing back to it in a second. There's the trap nice pass trap point. Wrong way, wrong way. Turn around. Go left, girl. There you go. Now, there's a lot of quests here. But the one you want is Reginald Snow's. His stones were stolen by an old man. He's a statue in town. You want to make that old man give those stones back to the artist. You have many options. Don't choose anything but give the stones back. That shows your honesty. I believe. Now that'll, that'll, that will be four virtues done right away. All you're going to need is five. The fifth one's a little more complicated. I'll explain that further as we get into this. But it's not hard at all. I haven't started the game. I did meet Detlef and fight him a little bit. And met Reg Regis and I'm supposed to meet Regis at the cemetery. So I'm not done anything yet in Blood and Wine. There it is. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. That's the quest you want. Wait a Dante. So I'm going to work my way through the town, get close to the artist. I'm ignoring the other quest right now. It's the only one I want. This will be my fourth virtue. I only need one more to get the Erendite Sword. Yes. And as you see, the game's barely started this DLC. There he is right here. First he lets you walk away, but then he calls you back. So let's, let's get to the old man, and I'll show you why I made, oh, wait, make him give him back. Okay, when the old man hands him back, you're going to get your fourth virtue. Now there's only one more to get, and that's Valor, to show your bravery. And there's two ways of doing this. You can kill the Gratori with Francois, beat with cold as ice. I can show you how to activate that if you want to do that. Or you can beat up the guys in town. In the fist of you get a fist fight trophy. It's good. I Put a Corvo Bianco on your... How can I say? Dresser in your bedroom. Thanks. And good luck. You can put that on your dresser with Actually, a Margaret Joy stick of joy. Them. She's the right that lives in the spoon house. All right. So he's pretty much done with. And we're going to go on to the last one. And you have two ways of doing it. I'm going to show you both ways. As you see, I have four to five virtues already, but I need to activate There Can Be Only One Quest. So I went to see the Hermit at the lake west of Corvo Bianco, and there they are written on the stones. What I, want to, what I want to do now is open up my quest, and I should have four virtues already done. This is the moment of truth where you're going to check back and see what happened after you did all that. Like I say, you hit it quick, you hit it fast, and you get it all the way. So 
I did all those all those virtues without even having the quest activated. But here's where I'm going to check it, and I'm going to see what I have done. There's the last one there. Right here in a second, I'm going to flip over to my quest. I'm going to pull up there can be only one. Here we go. See there, the only thing left to do, everything's checked in green. Everything. Before I even started opening the quest. Everything's done except proving your valor. So let's get on to that, and then we're going to get the erudite and complete. Okay, the first way to prove your valor is to activate the feet as cold as ice quest. It's near the Nilf Guardian Embassy, and we'll show you here on the map in a second. You go to that fast travel post. And standing near there is going to be a young lady. She's Barod the Francois. He wants to kill the Gratori. Gratori is an old legend and he's mean. I like to take him out to the tunnel away from the caverns. You activate him by burning his flowers. And I kill him out in the tunnel. But sometimes Francois will die. If he dies, you can't get the quest. You don't get the, the valor. But what you have to do when he lives is tell him to take the beast's head back to town and give it to her. Mm -hmm. Me. That way so, you get the you know, you get your bravery. Oh, but there's so an alternative much. way too, and I'm going to show you that to you more specifically, because I'm in a hurry now. I want the second air day, because I'm now <laughs> equipped with yeah. bloodbath. It's a mutation. It is four times as strong as it ever was what before. Can I do for you? So I'm going to compare my two, the new one against the old one. But if you want a hard battle and a good fight, Victoria is your prey. It's one tough battle, Couldn't have gotten and I've okay. played this game to fight. Sweets in a bag. Like I say, I'm in a hurry. Which I want to get out of here and move on just. to get to Valor the easy way. I'm going to show you how to do it in that way to prove your Valor. Fist of Fury Tucson. Beat up the three people, and you're going to get your Valor and your fifth virtue. Then you go back and fight the, the Hermit at the lake and get your second Aerodite in New Game Plus. So I'm going to say goodbye to Francois's Baroque, and I'm not going to kill the Tory. I'm not even going to do the quest. I'll fail it. Now, to beat these guys up, I just hit them with crushing blows. I don't bother parrying or swinging. It's just crush, crush, crush. And I get it over with quick. Like I said, I want that second air dice, and I want it to Okay, let's fighter, the woman, I couldn't get any damage on her, so what I'm doing, I'm changing my location. Just move around the arena a little bit, and you'll get back to the point where it can take damage. Get her out of the way, and I'm going to get the last one, get the trophy, and we're going to go see the hermit. Now, if you lose any of these fights, you can replay them, so it's pretty much guaranteed that you can prove your valor to get the erudite. Especially if the Victoria kicks your butt. Because he's a tough so the champion, you take out Trump. No big deal. Just meditate here. And so but, no. but you're going to get your trophy. I had an audio issue just then. I couldn't lower it. But it's okay now. So now you're going to get your trophy to put on your dresser in your bedroom with Corporal Bianco. But more importantly, Valor has been proven. So now I can go get my Erendite sword. My second Erendite sword. This is New Game Plus. Behold your trophy. So now I'm heading back to the island to fight the hermit to get that second air and dive sword. Now after I get my air and dive, the next thing, the very next thing I do in Tucson, whether it be the base game DLC or New Game Plus DLC, I'm going to get my armor next. In this case, being New Game Plus, it's going to be Grandmaster Legendary Armor. The armor I'm wearing here in New Game Plus is Grandmaster that I got in Tucson during the first DLC. Now I'm going to upgrade this into all new armor. Only then will I go back to the main game and kill Aridan. And then eventually in the end I'm going to not kill that lap, but I'm going to defeat him. The way I like to fight as a Witcher is the Apex Witcher. You have the opportunity to bulk up and get everything strong, tough, and powerful do it. Don't be a wimpy witcher. Get in there and fight for what you want. Alright, here it is. I got my second erudite. Now I want to show you something very interesting on this. 
Remember, I've been leveling up my first Erudite almost 50 levels. So it's got a lot of buff in it. And it's a good Erudite sword. But this new Erudite sword hasn't been buffed up at all. Because I haven't fought anything with it. I haven't leveled up. It hasn't been leveling up with me. So we're going to compare the two. Still flopping around. I'll get to it in a second. There it is. Get back on it and stay on it, Big D. Right there. 542 to 662. At the bottom paragraph, you see 80 to 410. That's how much the sword will increase in damage. I have leveled this sword up so often and so much. It's from 80 to 410. That's a lot of extra damage. Now I'm going to load up the second erudite, the new, the new one at level 81. Now you see the damage is way more, up to 1,000 damage, but that's not what you want to look at. You want to look at the 0 to 10 points it will level up. 0 to 10 points in the new erudite. Now also, in my character, I used the mutation bloodbath with it. That quadruples the power of the erudite sword. There it is. I'm equipped with it. If you get four hits and not be hit back, you're going to crush them. But as you see, my old erudite's been buffed up pretty good. And it's still looking good, too. But the only way to find out is start killing things. Start killing monsters with my new erudite. And start buffing that up. I have 20 more levels, more or less. 19 more levels to build it up to be the Apex Witcher at level 100. So I'm going to have two excellent erudites. And that's how you look at it. Now I also equip with gourmet. That enables you to eat an onion or a carrot. And it's just as much vitality as a chicken. See you guys next video.